This is the surgical management of a cataract patient with keratoconus. You can see here his high myopic astigmatism and vision is only of 610 due to cataract. The patient was also in Tamsilosin, the eye oil master, and the autoerig show consistent regular astigmatism confirmed on pentacam of approximately 10 to 12 diopters. The routine femtosecond cataract surgery proceeds with clear corneal incision on axis on a pre-marked cornea and a slit lump. This was the 69 years old gentleman with decreasing vision over the last five years due to cataract and prior to that his vision was 66 minus. The highly myopic astigmatism was symmetric between the eyes and for his right eye keratometer readings were at 11.6 at 3 on IOL master, 10.75 at 3 on auto rigs and on the pentacam it was 10.1 at 12 on the front and minus 7.8 at 17 at the back. The central cornea thickness was at 423 microns, with central steepness over 56 diameters, and anterior elevation float at 33, with posterior float at 74. You can see here the routine femme to second, cataracts, and fake emulsification of the nucleus proceeding smoothly. The capsulorexis on the femtosecond was set at 4.8 which would allow for a good centration of the ordered toric monofocal intraocular lens and this is mainly due to the regularity of his astigmatism on pentacam centrally if that was not the case, then a non-toric monofocal lens would have been ordered and obviously the patient would have required additional correction in the form of spectacles for both near and distance. Here the eye roll chosen was the Torica S, also known as Microsil Toric 6116 by Human Optics. Erlang in Germany, a three piece silicon Z shaped open loop haptic toric intraocular lens, which is 11.6 mm in length but 6 mm in this optic. The undulated haptic design increases the friction between lens and back, and although this helps maintain the L position and axis. It does make it difficult to rotate the lens within the bag. To prevent trauma during this rotation, it is recommended that uh, the haptics are compressed against the optic and held away from the capsule bag with, until the lens is in the desired position. You can see here how that is achieved by gently rotating the lens from the optic and compressing the distal haptic to allow for this automatic rotation. When the lens is close to the desired axis, irrigation aspiration can be used under the optic of the lens, behind the lens, which would allow for some rotation of the lens as inadvertently happens due to the distension of the capsule bag and once that is completed you are centrally on the correct axis irrigation of the wounds to maintain a tight seal and then you need to inspect the eye on its visual axis so that you can see exactly where the markings of the intraocular lens are 
in relationship to the pre-marked cornea and this is a, a good example of uh, an IOL centration on the axis of astigmatism. Postoperatively, patients healed very well with a minus 050 myopic astigmatism and he was delighted with the outcome. Thank you very much for watching.